All right, my Fleet Feet Running Club, welcome to your Tuesday workout explanation for Tuesday, January 25th. Um, as you may have noticed, we are kind of repeating um, the very first, what I would call, structured workout of this winter-spring training season. We are repeating it because, A, perhaps you didn't knock it out of the ballpark on the first time. Um, so, yeah, great chance for you to redeem yourself, if you will. Or B, maybe you did, but really you didn't, right? We were just trying to get in the swing of things. We were just trying to actually work track etiquette, um, get into this kind of work rust ratio that we hadn't done before, just because the first one was kind of that 5K effort. So really this time, I want to get down into the nitty gritty and not only just talk about the workouts, right? We are doing one mile repeats at your 10K pace, 90 seconds rest, three of them if you're a half marathoner, four to five if you're a marathoner. Again, kind of repeat of what we did two weeks ago. Now there's one parameter that I want you guys to start looking at, one metric now that I want everybody to start looking at. And that is your resting heart rate. Now, I realize that it is dark and it is cold and everybody is kind of bundled up. So watching that resting heart rate proves to be a little bit more difficult in the winter months than it does in the summer months. However, what I want for everybody to start really paying attention to is what your heart rate does. And again, if you have the capabilities of doing so, right? But what your heart rate does in the middle of your rest period, not necessarily during the workout, but what it does during the rest period. And here's what I want it to do, okay? I would love for your heart rate to drop 40 beats per minute in our 90 second recovery. So for example, if your heart rate gets to 200, all right, man, you're flying up there, right? If your heart rate gets to 200, after your 90 seconds rest, so you just did a mile, you look down at your watch, you see that your heart rate is 200, you rest, you walk around for 90 seconds. What I really hope happens is that right before you start your next mile repeat, did it drop to at least 160, all right? So as you stood there, grabbed water, paced around, whatever, that your heart rate dropped, that was 40 beats Per minute in that 90 second period okay now what does that tell you it tells me that your aerobic system okay and ultimately remember that aerobic system is what all of us are training all right for this half or full marathon so in this case your aerobic system is strong enough to recover from those one mile anaerobic bouts okay and we really need to make sure that it's strong enough to recover from those anaerobic bouts okay so while you guys are doing your one mile repeat of course that heart rate will jump but what we really needed it to do again is to catch up or recover from all right that first bout so we can do the second the third the fourth the fifth whatever okay that tells me as a coach that your aerobic system is a key player in this particular Tuesday track workout. And again, it's my job as a coach to make sure that your aerobic system is present in each and every workout that we are doing throughout this training season. If that's what we're trying to improve come race day, that's what we need to work every single workout that we do, okay? If it doesn't, we need to make adjustments, all right? If it only drops 20 beats, 30 beats, whatever the case may be, we need to make adjustments to allow for your aerobic system, again, to be work, to be task, to be up in the ante. So everybody's going to watch, okay? I'm not going to tell you right now what we can do to make it better. I want this day to be kind of an observation run, okay? What is my heart rate doing in between those workout bouts, okay? Watch it. Look down at your watch at the end. You guys are shutting it off maybe anyway. Look to see what your heart rate is. Look to see what your heart rate is right before you guys get ready to roll for your next one, okay? If it doesn't drop 
40 beads, please reach out to me. Send me an email. All right, we'll start talking about what we can do to help improvement, what we need to do to fix it, what we need to do to make sure that perhaps it will on the remaining track workouts. I'm doing this now because we have already done this workout. So the think and the reboots and all that kind of stuff isn't going to happen this week. You guys should be fairly comfortable with these one mile repeats. It's not too many moving pieces anymore. So now I really want you guys to focus on that drop. Okay? Let me know how it goes. Now, lastly, and I'm going to put a link on there too, it's much easier, even if you're not looking at it in real time, to set this workout up on your Garmin. If you have a Garmin, I'm not going to provide a link for you to on how to set this workout up in your Garmin so the watch will kind of narrate you on what you guys are doing. Um, come Tuesday at either the track with us or by yourself. Okay. All right. I'll be there on Tuesday. Gonna watch to see what those recoveries are. If you have any questions, please let me know.